What's going on guys? Today we got a new video for you all, uh, something I've wanted to do for a little while now. Uh, since the past few days I've received one of these, but I wanted to show you guys what's in the Elite Mystery Tackle Box. Specifically, they're a May edition, uh, expecting some springtime lures, uh, uh, pre-spawn spawn. So that's what you guys should be expecting in your box for the month of May. Uh, as a disclaimer, I actually have already opened this box. I got it a few days ago and I just wanted to take a sneak peek and uh, see, what, see what's inside. But I wanted to show you guys uh, what's, what kind of content you guys could be looking, looking at if you guys were to purchase one of these box. Uh, but before we get into it, if you guys could please subscribe, give a like, comment down below. That'll help me out a lot. Really appreciate it. And, but for now, we're gonna cut to the chase. We're not gonna try and do too much chit chat in between uh, the lures, try and uh, save some time because I know you guys want to see what's inside, but we'll start it off with kind of the first things you're gonna see when you open up your box uh, You're gonna get like always MTV always sends a little sticker with it It's usually different every month or maybe they have a few every month that they send but every month you're gonna get a different sticker uh, They have a little tips and ticks tips and tricks guide on for uh, for fishing and also they give you a price card of everything that's in the box uh, so that's what I'll be looking at at the end and tell you what I what um, I think is worth it or not uh, but cutting to the chase uh, first thing in this box is a Guggen Squad juice jig well, this is a blue craw in a 5 16 out ounce uh, just a casting uh, pitching jig so this is um, pretty standard I'm a fan of the Guggen Squad, so I was pretty excited to, to get this. So this will be put uh, to use a lot. And uh, this was one of, my, one of my favorite lures so far from the box. Uh, then we have some jig head hooks. These are some pretty beefy jig head hooks by Mustad. Uh, if I were to use this, it would probably be some, on something like a, a swim bait. Uh, it's, it's half an ounce though, so it's pretty heavy. So this is probably more for deep, deeper water. Next, we have the Nomad Skill. Uh, this is a Japanese company. I've never had these baits before. And they give you three per package, uh, non-weight. That's what they, they tell you to do on this. And based on the picture up top, it looks like you hook it as if this was almost like a live bait. Uh, you hook it through the top and just if I'm gonna guess just kind of almost as if like you're ice fishing or uh, you have like a shiner on the hook uh, that's probably how I would uh, use it but next up we have the bruiser baits uh, this looks like a craw it's called the Avenger knockout that might be the color knockout uh, it's like a blue craw this one has a lot of appendages. You have a few up top, and then you have these two big claws. Um, they have little indentations or um, flatter surfaces on the craw itself, so it will kick up a lot more water. Uh, these don't look bad though. Probably put it on the end of a jig, stuff like that, um, but not bad. Uh, it's always good to have plenty of craws. That's from Bruiser Baits. Next, which I thought was one of the more interesting things in the box was these headbanger uh, rocker heads. I've been seeing a lot of ads for these lately, so it's now that I see this in the box, it's, they're, they're really trying to sell uh, the idea of using these uh, rocker heads. So supposedly you just kind of rig like a, a craw or lizard or something with some um, appendages on the back to help kick some water around. But the rocker head, I guess, kind of goes back and forth in the water and you just kind of straight retrieve it. 
and supposedly that's supposed to be something the bass want. Uh, I, I wouldn't doubt it. Um, bass will eat anything between spinners, chatterbaits, uh, stuff like that. So that kind of reminds me of like almost more of like a chatterbait, but probably not as loud. It's more just the movement that it makes from these um, rocker heads. So this will be interesting to use. Kind of excited for that. Uh, next up, you just have some basic ribbon tail worms. These are from Smart Baits. Supposedly they're color changing. Uh, these are actually smaller than I first saw in the package, but these are just very small, almost in like an orange, orangey pink, like salmon color with some black speckles in there. So this is a pretty small ribbon worm. You can see up to my hand, that's pretty small. But another finesse bait. I'm sure it'll get bit by bass. I'm not a huge fan of ribbon tail worms just because they're around here. They're probably around the country as well too. They just get bitten up by a lot of other fish in the water. Uh, whether that's around here like perch, pickerel, uh, even bluegill and uh, some sunnies. So moving on we have, uh, this is another soft plastic uh, by Vertical Lures right here. I'll open this up for you guys. This is a cool little lure. This is a like a black and red. Um, I don't know really how to classify this soft plastic. It's almost like a tube with what you have here and it's like kind of hollow in the inside. Then you have some craw like full, um, appendages here. There's four of them. But this looks like it will give a lot of action in the water. Probably use, you can use this as jig head. I mean a um, jig trailer or even just straight uh, Texas rig it for uh, punching and flipping or just uh, weedless uh, on just your normal setup, but that's not bad uh, Vertical lures pretty good uh, Next up uh, this is the second to last thing is we have the motorboat by 13 fishing this is one of, also one of the more interesting things that I got in the box uh, I haven't got like received or purchased actually one of these myself so this was new for me uh, it's a pretty big bait it's almost like a I believe I think you would fish it like a um, uh, I can't remember the name of that what's it called why am I drawing a blank buzz bait I don't know why I forgot that but it kind of swims like a buzz bait I think that's how I would fish it and the last thing we have in the box is the Guggen Hound. This is a pretty cool color. Um, it's kind of like, I think it's like a shad pattern, I believe. But Guggen hard baits, I've found, they have pretty cool patterns. Uh, this is half end of an ounce, so this is pretty big popper. Um, pretty long versus the ones I'm used to using. Uh, wanted one of their hard baits for a while, so this is pretty cool to have. Uh, definitely, maybe my favorite thing from the box that I got but that's it that's everything we got from the mystery tackle box uh, now comparing it to the price card um, i'm just going to kind of go through what um, everything is priced at and then uh, what i think probably is a little bit overpriced so first off um, we have three things that are 8.99 we have the motorboat the hound uh, the guggen hound and then we have the no mask gill so these are all $8.99. No mask gill, looks like a Japanese company. Guggen Squad, Guggen Squad Hound, then the Motorboat by 13 Fishing. So if I were to kind of give my opinion on this, I would say this probably shouldn't be worth $8.99. I wish these were marked a little bit lower, maybe like five bucks or something, that would make it a little more worth it. I think this is definitely worth your money. Uh, it looks like you're getting what you're paid for there. Um, this motorboat, I have kind of mixed feelings about this. I'm not too sure. Um, I'm probably going to love it, but we'll try it out. I'm sure it'll catch fish. It's just a matter of if I think it outperforms other baits uh, out there. Uh, but then we have uh, for $7.99 are these headbanger rocker heads. So I guess that's expected um, just for two hooks. 
and then kind of like these jig heads maybe it's a dollar or so overpriced i'd probably rather see these at like um, 6.99 or 5.99 i think that'd make these a little more worth it but i think they're pretty cool uh they're kind of new uh newer than what i've seen out there so that's pretty cool then we have vertical lures tube x so i guess that is right um, I said this was a tube slash craw, but they classify it as a just a tube. So this is $5.99. Uh, I think this is worth it. You get a good amount of small uh, plastics in there. I think wanna, I want to say about eight or so. So that's pretty average. Uh, the bruiser baits. Um, yep, this one, the blue craw. Uh, I think this is worth it as well. This was. For uh, $4.49 actually, I forgot I skipped over a bait that was 50 cents higher, but uh, you get about seven in these, so that's pretty worth it for $4.50, that's not bad. Uh, I actually skipped the Guggen Juice Jig. Uh, this was just a little bit higher than those craws. This was $4.99, I think that's worth it. Uh, looks like a pretty decent jig, but we'll have to try that out. Guggen's a good name uh, nowadays. They've been, really been growing. Uh, then the last um, two, I believe, is actually last one is just these ribbon tail worms. Uh, these are $4.49. Uh, I probably wouldn't spend money on this just because I'm not a huge ribbon tail worm guy, but uh, it seems pretty fair for the price. Uh, not bad, but that's everything, guys. We got some decent stuff. Uh, I think overall, uh, based on my opinions and what these price cards are matched up to be, I think it's pretty fair. Uh, it is a mystery tackle box, so you don't know everything you're gonna get. So it's always gonna be a surprise and maybe there's some things in there you don't like rather than others, but it's part of the mystery. If you guys did like the content, like always, be sure to subscribe, leave a like and comment down below. And if you guys want to see another one of these unboxings, just let me know. I think I'm going to get one next month. So I might do one for then uh, based on how you guys react to this one. But uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Give me, hey, give me that box. Moving. Hey.